Welcome to the Addis channel. In this video, we will discuss the type of order flow period, analyze the principles behind candle formation, and also explore the settings and parameters we can adjust for this type of chart. Let's start by creating the chart. For this video, we'll use Litecoin futures connected to the Binance Futures Exchange. The order flow chart can also be applied to other trading instruments, adjustments to the settings may be necessary, as we'll demonstrate later. In the periods menu, look for the order flow option. As you can see, the default setting for this type of chart is a period value of 1. Select order flow 1, and add as will open the order flow chart. So, what makes this chart unique? Basically, it's similar to the bid ask spread tape. The only difference is that the data is displayed in the familiar bar chart format. Now, let's open the spread tape for comparison through the linked window creation menu. What do we see? The appearance of new information on the chart and in the tape is tied to changes in the spread. When the best ask or best bid changes, a new line appears in the spread tape, at the same time, the current bar on the order flowchart closes, and a new one opens. In other words, each entry in the spread tape corresponds to a single bar on the order flowchart. This setup makes it easier to track buy and sell trades that happen without any change in the spread. Now, let's move on to setting up the order flowchart. To do this, go to the Periods menu, click the Settings button, select the Order Flowchart from the list, and then click the Add button. In the window that appears, we can change the period name, the number of days to load, and the filter value. For this example, let's set the value to 20. This means the chart will only show candles where the volume was 20 contracts or more. As you can see, the chart now displays only the bars where the total volume was 20 contracts or higher. Now, let's take a closer look at a specific part of the chart to see what was happening with the spread tape during that time. To do this, we'll switch to history mode. Now, let's highlight the area we're interested in. We can see in the spread tape the information that matches the filter we set on the chart. The height of the bars on the order flow chart reflects the difference between the best bid and the best ask, and right now, we can clearly see where the spread has widened. This type of chart can be a valuable tool for intraday traders since you can add indicators to the order flow chart. Let's add a standard ATR indicator. This will help us visualize on a larger scale where the spreads have expanded and how the price has moved. From this, we can conclude that spread expansions typically occur in two situations, first, during price reversals, and second, when breaking through significant levels. This is a key insight that can help traders make more informed decisions. Here are a few more examples from a different day. Now you have a good understanding of the order flow chart, as well as its unique features and an example of how to use it for intraday trading. Join the Addis Trading Platform community and test how price reacts to spread expansions with us. We'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching.